Today, I want to show you three ways that you can increase the security of your identity account. And I want to show you that because while organizing your entire life in one place is convenient, it also means that place needs to be very, very secure. So the first way has to do with changing the window of time in which you have to re-enter your password. And the way that you do that is you go over to the menu, go to app settings, and the first thing you will see is an auto lock timer. And what that allows you to do is to change the time window from as little as five minutes to as much as seven days. And that will be the window of time in which you're required to re-enter your password. You'll see I have mine set to seven days. And that means since I'm already logged into identity, I can close this tab. I can even close the browser. And when I reopen it, I will already be logged into identity and there's nothing for me to do. Now, give that a second to load. The second thing that you can do is actually add a second layer of security to your account. And we call that a secret phrase. If I go back to the menu and again, go to app settings, you'll see secret phrase over here to the right. And if I click secret phrase, it will ask you to basically create a phrase or you can use a, a number, almost like a pin number. Uh, I'm just going to create a number here as an example and hit save. And it will ask me to verify my password to make sure that I am who I say I am when I'm changing something so important. And it will immediately ask me for that secret phrase. Now, anytime that I'm logging into identity, I'll need to enter my password and then I'll need to add, uh, add my secret phrase. Now, in this case, if I were to close the browser and then reopen it, I'm still logged in, right? My, my time window is set for seven days, but it's going to ask for my secret phrase every single time I start a new browser session. So that's the secret phrase. Now, the third and final way to take your security to the next level is called two-factor authentication. Now, again, I'm going to go to the menu. I'm going to click into app settings. And here you'll see 2FA settings. What this means is that in addition to your password, you're going to need a second factor, in this case, a smartphone, as a way to verify your identity. And if you want to turn this on, what you can do is you would open this and you would toggle 2FA to on. I'm going to leave mine as off for now. And then you would hit set up 2FA app. And there are a lot of these applications. Uh, one is called Google Authenticator. Uh, there's another popular one called Authy. And what you would do is you would download that app onto your smartphone. And within that app, you can scan this QR code. And that will mean after you log in, you'll have to enter your password into identity as normal. And then it will ask you for a six digit code. So you'll have to open up the app on your smartphone to get that six digit code to enter into your computer. And that's one of the most popular and the most secure ways to really be more secure online. Hopefully this was helpful and you'll have to think about, you know, depending on uh, are you the only person that uses your computer? Do you use the computer in public places? And whatever is right for you, you can take the necessary steps to protect your information. Cheers.